Welcome back to Good Day. It's summer. Time to jump in the car for a little day trip. Sure, you could head to Detroit, take in a ball game at Comerica Park, but there's so much more to do in Motown. Amy Ecker joins us, and she's found the 100 things to do in Detroit before you die. <laughs> Good morning. Thanks for joining us today, Amy. Good morning, Amanda. Thanks so much for having me. You know, this is really great because we are only an hour away from Detroit here in Toledo. So, you know, we want to get out of town and we want to check out some places we've never been to before. So what are some of your suggestions? Well, you know, there's been a lot of emphasis in Detroit lately on the remaking of old buildings, the the re revitalization of Michigan Central Station and some of these great old Art Deco buildings. And I love to point people to some of the boutique hotels that are really taking advantage of that trend. If you're driving up to Detroit, you really owe it to yourself to stay in one of these century old architectural treasures like the Shinola Hotel or the Cambria Hotel, which is located in an old uh, radio station. It's just the coolest place with these vintage radios and uh, on display. And um, I, I think that's, or the Detroit uh, Foundation Hotel, which is in an old firehouse. I think that's one of the great places to start your getaway is to just settle downtown in one of these great architectural gems. Yeah, I and love from, that they've been renovating these because yeah, you mentioned the, the the central station i mean they've they've done some great great events there so it's just wonderful to see it absolutely yeah and they're just they're buildings that you would never build nowadays you couldn't afford to build them anymore mm -hmm. with the terracotta floors and the crystal chandeliers it's just really a treat um but it's summertime it's a great time to be outdoors and a great way to kind of meld the outdoors and the history of detroit is to head down to the riverfront and take a kayak tour it's the most interesting just a, most unusual way to get a sense of detroit's history indigenous beginnings to its a prohibition era rum runner history the seat of a kayak with a guide that helps you understand what you're seeing and um, paddling along the Detroit River past Belle Isle it's a great way to kind of meld the beauty of the outdoors in this season with a history lesson very good so yeah get out there enjoy the outdoors I saw we had a picture of some food too and my brain is always um, centered oh. around food so I know Detroit style pizza is my favorite I love Detroit style pizza so there's yeah. there's definitely some things that people can nibble on while they're up in Detroit too Absolutely. Well, Detroit style pizza has been around for decades, but it's really kind of having a moment right now. People are discovering how unique it is. So 100 Things in Detroit Before You Die helps explain the history of the square pizza and how it became square and why it's special, what's unique about it. And then I suggest several places where you can get the best pie from Buddy's to Louie's to Cloverleaf, um, all these places that have fantastic Detroit style pizza. Mm. Um, Middle Eastern food is mm. hot. Um, and I help people find the best Middle Eastern food in the city as well. So, so you got to get this book. How can people get it? Well, it's available at brick and mortar stores all across D Toledo. And um, if you prefer to shop online, Amazon, Barnes and Noble, they both carry my books. Or you can visit my website, amyeckert.com. Wonderful. I'm glad that you've done all this scouting for us so that we could just pick up the book and then hit the road and visit Detroit. Amy, thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks for having me, Amanda. Have a great holiday week. Same to you. And thank you for joining us here on Good Day. We'll be back with some more news right after this. Stay with us.